right, guys. Welcome back to Strong Successful Mail. So for today, I'm going to go over this great success story that was sent from a subscriber. This is from a guy. He's been married for a number of years, has two daughters, and essentially his marriage went to hell in a handbasket when he discovered that his wife had been cheating on him. And worse yet, with a much younger guy, who I believe was 27 years old, and upon finding out absolute, without a shadow, without evidence that this pit viper ex-wife was cheating, she pretty much had the attitude of like, so what? What are you going to do about it? I didn't do it. You can't prove anything. Blah, blah, blah. You don't have the guts to divorce me. That type of thing. And even though this guy was going through emotional hell, because obviously this was once the woman he, he loved and he has two daughters, he stayed strong, kept, held, held himself high, and got things rolling to eventually kick her ass to the curb. And that's exactly what he does. And I might add, he comes out completely on top. He wins by a landslide. In that divorce. So for any of you guys right now that are married, and maybe you're going through a, a, a bad divorce, or your marriage has gone to hell in a handbasket where she treats you like garbage, and you feel like, hey, you know what? If I initiate a divorce, I'm going to get raked through the raked through the, raked, raked over the coals. All that. There's hope. Okay. There is hope. Stay strong. And just like this guy, hopefully you can come out on top. So he starts off. He says, uh, "Hello, SSM." Well, everybody's got a story to tell. Mine is simple and as old as time itself. My wife, the beautiful mother of my children, for whom I loved and worked my ass off for, ended up sneaking behind my back and leaving with a 27-year-old guy. At the time of our failing marriage, I found, out my wife un I found my wife unbelievably sexy, especially after having children, as she was the mother and the center of our family. I would often tell her, but she ignored any suggestions or advances, but still, I tried. I knew she was cheating on me, and when I finally confronted her, she denied it all. I caught her leaving the guy's house, but she said it wasn't her, even though we were speaking face-to-face. -face, she said, prove it. Oh my god. You literally caught her red-handed, walking out of the dude's house, and she said it's not her? Was she on drugs or something? And then, prove it? That sadly tells you exactly how she feels about you. I'm sorry to admit that, that she, she, for whatever reason, lost all complete, any love, respect, any of that stuff. So literally, oh yeah, go ahead and prove it. But not to mention the fact that she is a complete and total a-hole. And guys, by the way, as I've obviously read this before, this guy is a good guy. He's done his best for his family to take care of them, provide, be a good father, blah, 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 and husband. Now, I don't know all the details. Nobody's perfect. I'm not perfect. You're not perfect. But this guy sounds like a pretty stand-up guy. And so for anyone to treat someone like this, no excuse, okay? But she obviously, no respect, no love, nothing. But remember, she gets hers in the end. He says, so I did. I did prove it. Over some time, I found SEX toys, lingerie, kinky items that I would love to enjoy in, in, her in, etc. All she claimed were mine, but that they were not. So again, he, out of nowhere, he found all these toys and stuff in his house, and she said, oh, they're yours. I think, I don't know, guys, I don't know about you, but if I went to some store or ordered online certain items to make things more fun with my girl in the bedroom, I think I'd remember ordering those things. Call me crazy, but I think my memory would be good enough to remember that. Look at the gaslighting. Look at the bullshit. You see, she stopped having you know what with me a few years earlier after our second daughter, so there was that, there was absolutely no physical affection or anything. Disheartened, I pressed on, hurt, but working two jobs supporting my family. I kept calm through it all and tried to control my emotions, although looking back now, I'm not sure how I did it, but I'm glad that I did. Bro, I, I'm proud of you. Seriously. You did the best you could in the situation. You had two young daughters. It's not like you just, even though we warranted to walk out just like that and go make, stay with your brother or your family or whatever, you stayed strong for your daughters while you were building things up so you can get rid of her and get your kids. That took a lot of strength. So good job, bro. You're, you're a role model to us all. And right there, he busting his butt, two jobs. And notice how he said that he hadn't had the, any SEX for years. So their marriage was like they were roommates or, or just friends. But they weren't friends because she treated him like shit, right? And obviously, and don't and, and by by the way, guys, as if it's no big secret, women like the SEX too. So she ain't getting it from you. She's getting it from someplace else. And sadly, that's exactly what was going on. And here's the interesting thing is, he said that even after having a couple kids, he still found her sexy as hell and beautiful. I mean, 
What woman, after having a couple kids, wouldn't want a guy like that that still was attracted to her that much? But obviously, it got to her head, and she thought that, well, hey, I can I can get any guy I want. And she's hooking up with some 27-year-old. Now, I don't know how old she is. I'm assuming she's probably her 30s. Welcome to today's women. Well, uh, most of today's women. Not all. Most. i got to correct myself there. There are some good ones out there, but sadly, those numbers are dwindling. In, in my opinion, guys, i got to tell you that what I've observed, I've been observing the last 10 to 15 years, I've never seen so many so narcissistic, such attitudes, all these things that I've observed. I mean, it's unbelievable. No wonder guys are walking away. I just kept thinking about my daughters, the girls that would be part of a broken family that we promised we would never subject them to. And how could we let this happen? No, there's no we, bro. You did your best. She did this. And it's better for your daughters to grow up in a household where mom and dad are split up and you can at least be normal and show them something normal versus you two living in the same roof and hating each other's guts because then one day they'll end up in relationships that are damaged and toxic just like that. If you don't believe me, look around. It says here, I blame myself for everything. You shouldn't, dude. The guilt was eating me up. But while every marriage has ups and downs, I was a good husband. I supported her and gave her what she wanted. She was just a typical woman who thinks that the grass is greener on the other side of the fence. Yeah, and I, I'm going to add on to that thinking that she also deserves the greener grass on the other side of the fence. Thanks to decades of effinism, teaching women they deserve everything and more, and thanks to all the boneheaded blue pill guys out there that give them all the attention on social media and dating apps, making them think that I can get nines and tens, or I deserve nines and tens. That's why I tell guys on who are on, on TikTok or uh, Instagram or any of that stuff like that, stop liking all those pictures, stop commenting on blah, 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 because it's only building up the egos. Narcissistic as hell. But bro, it is not your fault. You did the best you could. Nobody's perfect, but you did the best you could. He says, eventually, I had a decision to make, and I remember the sadness that I felt that day that I decided that I was going to divorce her. I didn't want this, but she didn't respect me, and when I told her, she scoffed at it, saying, you'll never divorce me, and yeah, okay. As I pressed on, with not much money for legal counsel, but with determination, I sought out free local counseling, read articles, listened to vlogs, spoke to self-sufficiency groups locally uh, when I could around my failing marriage, her work schedule, and mine. You did what you could with the resources that you had at hand. That's the best you can do. But it also sounds like you, you uh, educated yourself. Self-education, one of the best ways to go. You armed yourself as much information about the law in your state, whatever it is, and went from there. I stepped up, had papers served to her, and it began. She was stunned, but still shrugged it off saying, you will never break up your family, and with the mindset, I can do whatever I want, because in the end, I will get away with it and take you for everything. Yeah, she sounds like a great girl. I want to know what she was like when she was younger. What was she like when you got together? There's no way she was like this early on. Unless, of course, that was her true character, but she was disguising it, you know, to get this guy and obviously be married because, you know, pretty much all gals want to be married at some point because they, they need to get that ring on their finger and feel like, because society tells them they have to do that, all their friends are getting married so they can have their magical day and get the center of attention. I'm guessing that's probably she was just hiding it. You know, it was a Dr. Jekyll, Miss Bitch situation. And once you put that ring on her finger, Dr. Jekyll turned into Miss Bitch. And that's what you married, sadly. Look at that attitude. <clears throat> he says, I stepped up. Oh, I read that part. She says, uh, I, he says, I did nothing wrong. I'm not a perfect guy, but I work, love and support my family. I don't drink or get into trouble. I'm responsible and I don't gamble or cheat. If anything, I'm more boring, but I guess that love dies. Dude, you sound like me. I think a lot of people find me boring. I hardly ever drink. I sure as hell don't gamble. I think that's stupid as shit to do. I don't do drugs. I don't like hanging out at bars or clubs. I'm spending most of my time on my grind, working my businesses, thinking of new ideas for new businesses, at the gym, hanging out with loved ones. That's about it. Uh, fast forward to the court date, and I, representing myself, show up with everything documented because she knew that I would, as I do with everything. Guess what? She doesn't show. She didn't show up for the court hearing? I gotta wonder if it's one of two things. Either she's so arrogant that thinks that... Uh, 
even if she doesn't have to show up, she's going to win because, hey, you know what? Today's in the modern age. The family courts support the women. I can do whatever I want, and I'm going to win anyway or two. She, in a way, wanted to uh, sabotage the marriage so she can go run off and be with this 27-year-old. I don't know. She doesn't show. I had everything that she did to me chronologically laid out in files, photos, GPS records. He says the GPS is legal because we shared the vehicles. The judge began, and through it all, he ruled in my favor. He stated that regardless of whether she showed up today or not, he would have ruled in my favor regardless. Awesome. High five to that judge. He stated that I was an exemplary father and husband, not perfect as no man is, but that my hard work and honesty admitting all the truths of our marriage all rang true. We sat in the courtroom for eight full hours going over the minutia of my marriage, just me, the judge, the bailiff, and the uh, stenographer. Eight hours? Shit. It was, the lowest, it was the lowest high point in my life as he awarded me everything. Sole custody of my children, the house, the vehicles, the assets, everything. Again, high five to this judge. She got nothing but the ring on her finger and ordered to pay child support despite the fact that I make nearly 65% more than her and a warrant for her arrest because she did not show up for court. Holy shit. This, this sounds like a little... I believe you, but this sounds a little too good to be true. I want to know what state you live in. I want to know all that because... Very rarely do you hear things so good about the guy, but you must have been very methodical about your uh, information and presenting it to the judge and all that in details and files. <clears throat> I asked that he reconsider the warrant as she would be in shock after what was about to befall her. He said to me that I was a true man and that that was the reason why he received the, the, this degree because of my character. I simply stated, I'm just a dad trying to do what is right in the end. The family was broken. Well, bro... It was broken, but not because of you. It's not your fault. You did the best you could for your family, including her, but she was just a piece of garbage. And now she's going to be thrown away like a piece of garbage. You get the house, sole custody of the kids, the assets. She can go out and she's got to pay child support while the kids live with you. Sounds good to me. Let her go off with that 27-year-old. Let's see how long that 27-year-old wants her as she ages and gets more wrinkles and the boobs sag and the hair turns gray, amongst many other things. Not to mention her wonderful personality. Yeah, good luck with her finding dudes. While there will always be suckers out there, it won't be as easy. He says, divorced August 27, 2019. But I've accepted, as I always have since they were born, full and total responsibility for all the cooking, cleaning, working, laundry, shopping, discipline, laughing, crying, loving, all of it. I am their daddy, and they are happy, and that is my mission, although I miss my wife. I can't explain it, and after all she has had, all she's done, she was my wife and the mother of our girls. Bro, even after all the shit she did to you, I can understand how you think back shit one time there was a time place we had a good time or that i i loved her and she loved me and she is the mother of my kids but i got a question whether it was a big bait and switch that, that's what i think you know but also but at least you know you, you gotta move on okay you gotta let that go because look how she treated you in the marriage it says everything about her character especially after all the good things you've done for her and the kids <clears throat> he says uh I have had uh, women before before, and women after, but as of January 2022, I decided to be, just be single and stay powerful. In other words, he's done dating and relationships and all that. Bro, nobody blames you in the least. Take your time. If you, later on in time you decide you want to become a relationship guy again, if that's who your true character is, okay, nobody will blame you. But you'll have all this time to really build up yourself, learn from your mistakes and all that. And then when you're ready... Just have a very good screening process. I'm not saying, in my opinion, don't get married after what you went through, but you can certainly have relations with girls that you like. Just uh, don't put them on a pedestal. Don't kiss their butts. Check them when they do bullshit, stuff like that. But there's absolutely no rush. Focus on you. Focus on your daughters. Have a good time with your friends. Improve your rise up in your job, things like that. And when you're ready, you're ready. And if you're not, hey, no problem. He says, in conclusion, to make things easy on my girls, I have let the bitterness melt away a little. I've come to terms with my ex, and I've let her get more involved with the girls in their lives over the past 18 months. They need their mother, and just because she doesn't love me, she still needs to be there for them. 
if they grow up and decide that they will have a problem with the divorce, I will have to defer to her and she'll have to explain. But for now, we get along for their sake. I did it, although it was not easy. I did it. I am the last of a dying breed. I am a man. Yes, sir, you are. Absolutely. And when you were going through hell, you still stayed strong for your girls, kept working, all that, and figured out, formed a plan and got things rolling. You came out on top. Good for you. That's awesome, bro. And like I said, but I want to give, I want to give a little bit, I want you to exercise caution when it comes to your girls and your ex, because I've heard plenty of horror stories where the very venomous ex-wives try to poison the, the kids, the, the minds of the kids against the father because they're bitter for whatever reason. So if you start to notice your daughters have a change of behavior towards you after spending a weekend with their mother, or they start being disrespectful, the odds are that's coming from her. At that point, you want to nip that in the bud immediately in terms of correct checking them because you check all women, whether they're your girlfriends or your daughters, and cut off contact with, the, with them hanging out with the ex. If you notice any bullshit going on to make things difficult for you or them or she's manipulating or something like that, because it can happen, okay? You said that it's been going on for 18 months. I'm assuming that hasn't been going on in terms of her messing with their heads and all that because a lot of ex-wives pull crap like that. I, I can think of one in particular, somebody, a gal I used to date back in college and her then stepfather, his ex used to do that crap all the time. Yeah, it was unbelievable. So just be careful there. But other than that, dude, great story. I'm glad to hear you're doing so well. And uh, hey, she can go be with that 27 year old. Let, let's see him act and pay, pay for the pay for things and, and give the lifestyle that she was used to with you. Now she has to t handle all those things. So good for you. Good for you staying strong. You're a role model to many of us. And uh, like I said, just keep working on yourself, having a good life, and down the road. If you want to do relationships relationships and all that, okay, now you're armed and ready with all this knowledge. I'll help you not get into a situation like you were before. But I think, you know, I don't know the whole situation, your story. I'm not there to observe your past, but I'm sure you made mistakes. We all do, but her actions show her true character, you know, and so look at it like this. You're free of her. She's somebody else's problem. So good luck, bro, and just keep on trucking. All right, guys, that's it for today. Be sure to comment down below. Let me just think about this. Guys, give this guy a show this guy some love in the comment section. He definitely deserves it after what he's been through. And be sure to like the video, share with your friends, and subscribe. I'll catch you next time.